22 million black victims of Americanism are waking up and they're gaining a new political consciousness. And we do have a chain of command here. No, you put me and those hostages at risk. That's what you did. And that's not how I work. First, we talk. Command is to get those people out safely. That's my command. Brothers and sisters, I don't know what this world is coming to. Yes. The rhythm, the rebel, without a pause, I'm low in my level. The hard drama, where you never been, I'm in. You want styling, you know it's time again. D, the, the enemy. enemy. Tell you to hear it. They praise my music, just how they play my lyrics. Some say no to my album, the show. Boom, rush the sound. I mean... Hey, my brother. How you doing? Hey, before you Greetings. <laughs> this is what we're going to talk about today, about school and what you should do with your child. We know we're doing it the wrong way, many of us, but we're going to show them the right way. Now, everybody ain't going to like the right way. That means you got to change, but it's all about our children. Welcome back. The Hostages the Fight Back live on Facebook, live on YouTube, and live on the Internet here on New Orleans Talk Network. A large number, not all, but a large number of your young people turn into ministers. If, you know, if it's always got to be coming from outside, from mentoring groups, from your school system, from what's left of the church community, all these good people can't spend more time with the child than the child spends at home. So there, you know, how do we stop the process where the good that the child may get exposed to externally is undone by the internal problems in the household. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a, that's a dilemma I always come to. Mm -hmm. Parents need to understand what disciplining, disciplining a child when it comes to education means. A lot of us uh, want to go to uh, the whooping, uh, uh, mm -hmm. whooping our kids and fussing and screaming and cussing at the children when it comes to education. I understand that as it comes to stealing a candy bar at a dollar store. But when it comes to education, ed uh, patience is a virtue. All kids don't learn the same. All kids don't uh, retain information the same way. And you have to observe your child. You have to be engaged into the classroom and, under and understand what level your child is on when it comes to retaining information in their education. And most parents don't understand how their children operate when it comes to that. So they typically go to the uh, tactics of violence when it comes to discipline. And that's one of the worst things you can do. We, we got to show by uh, action what's important to us. You know, and, and I, I, you know, and those things are traditionally, you know, New Orleans. But we got to, we, we got to not be the, the, we, uh, the city that care for God, but we, we got to not forget to care. And the most prized possession is our children. What else I got talking about? And we'll also be talking about the upcoming public hearing for the NOPD consent decree at Federal District Court. And maybe, maybe the latest threat on Brother Al, but we'll see. You know, we, we want to create safety, we want to create partnerships with the police, but we also have to be honest when people are coming up short on our end. We're very honest when mm -hmm. black folks come up short, so we have to be honest also if blue folks are coming up short. I'm not trying to beat up on it, but I don't like the way I've been treated by and by some some officers. Uh, some of them, they, they, they think you're doing you a favor. Like I, I made I'm, I'm, I made myself miserable, or I put myself in danger, mm -hmm. and 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 I could do better. Mm -hmm. You know, Cap. Uh, if I did any better, we wouldn't need no police. Exactly. One of the objectives is to make sure that black people in New Orleans get treated as good as Sidney Torres gets treated, because NOPD, whom I support always treat Sidney Torres right, so you need to treat black taxpayers right, too. This man was threatened by a convicted felon and drug dealer right next to his house, who threatened not only Brother Al, but also Brother Al's son. I'd like to think that Brother Al could get the same VIP treatment that Sidney Torres would get if that agree. Negro had threatened him and his child. Great show, great show today. 
what you thought about today's show? I think that we got into a lot of the meat and potatoes behind the back to school challenge for urban youth and urban families. It's definitely not easy, but it's something that has to be done. And dealing with black community, police relations, and the upcoming public meeting for the federal consent decree, another hot button topic. Because if neither one of these elements are in place, we will continue to have more chaos, not mm -hmm. less of it. The second half of the show about uh, the importance of being respectful and, 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 and compassionate with the victims. You know, uh, you know, you can't bring your problems or your 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 lack of professionalism to uh, to victims because people don't wake up in the morning uh, say we're gonna be a victim today, a rape victim, a murder victim, a a, 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 a battered victim, a, a, a robbery, and you need to be the the person who's coming there to help you, the police should be understanding. They should have some patience. I, I don't I don't need to hear your voice on the phone. What what what, what you want? You know, uh, what you want me to do for you? And what you say? And you didn't say that. They act like, you know, it's like that's that's discouraging. As a matter of fact, their lack of professionalism and compassion does more damage than than the the, the original perpetrator. Brothers and sisters I don't know what this world is coming to. Yes, the rhythm, the rebel. Without a pause, I'm low in my level. The hard drama, where you never been, I'm in. You want styling, you know it's time again. D, the enemy. I'm telling you to hear it.